Hello YouTube, I'm Glyn Jones, this is my son Thomas. Hello. Uh, today's video is our final weigh-in of the off-season. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, we've got lots of things to discuss about where we're going into our prep. Uh, we're really looking forward to this. Not looking forward to weighing today because as promised guys, I will be taking my top off. You will be seeing where we are at the end of the off-season. Uh, I'm absolutely bricking it. I'm not looking forward to it. So please stay tuned to Life Changing Journey to see the big reveal. weigh-in day it is the final weigh-in of the off-season like I did say at the beginning um, I've got mixed mixed emotions I'm glad to be at the end of this because we've put lots and lots of weight on we will discuss the figures in a minute of where we started the off-season now where we are today um, I've consumed as much as the calories I could get in this week uh, to make sure I'm still gaining the weight. I'm still pushing in the gym, still lifting as heavy as I can. Um, and uh, I think all has gone well. Um, I'm very, very nervous. I'm not looking forward to taking my top off, guys. I'm very self-conscious, especially when you come to the end of an off season because you've put the extra pounds on and it doesn't look pretty. I don't feel pretty. I think it was necessary because uh, at the end of the day we've been losing weight over the last 12, 18 months. Uh, we dropped weight considerably, yeah. quite a lot of weight um, and uh, I didn't feel comfortable with the way it went. I just think we lost a lot of weight but we didn't necessarily lose a lot of fat. No. So we wanted to do things differently. So we wanted to get some muscle mass first. So I thought the best way of doing this after after a, a bit of halfway here and halfway there, we spent months of wasting time of doing this halfway. You know, are we bulking? Are we prepping? You know, and we wasn't really absolutely nailed down to one way or the other. No. And we did waste a lot of months doing this, we didn't did, we? Yeah. You, you know, it's just up and down. Then it, so it was like we would. We were doing it, then we went to like bulking for like a week or two, three yeah. weeks. I got most. worried about it, didn't we? Got worried because we we just Stop putting weight. In. Yeah, we just put too much weight on in them weeks, and then we just went back down to cutting. Then we went back to yeah. again, and we were just on and off a lot. Yeah, um, and it wasn't helping. So no. we decided just before Christmas, twelve weeks ago, we decided right, that's it. We're bulking. And we're going to go as far as we can with it. Not necessarily clean bulking. Well, we say not necessarily clean bulking. It wasn't clean bulking. We 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 can, we did eat the proteins. We did eat the carbs. But what we've done is we added extra calories yeah. in food that we enjoyed, uh, and it was very unhealthy. It was the added calories. Uh, you know. We didn't care about having that Chinese at the weekend. We didn't care about having the pizza because we were putting the extra calories in. We were consuming at times up to 4,000 calories. Yeah. Um, 
Not not all the time. No, right? no, it wasn't all the time. My colour is was three thousand eight, three thousand nine, sometimes four thousand with a push. Thomas was struggling to get four thousand calories in, especially in the week when we were being pretty healthy. Mm. Um, you, you know, and believe me, guys, you know when you try and get four thousand calories of good, healthy, lean proteins, good, healthy carbs, it isn't easy. I can no, tell you, it is not very hard. It is very hard. But we did it. Yeah, I'm um, glad that we're, that's over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think John was getting yeah. fed up with, he was starting to leave more and more left on his plate. Yeah, it's just getting the same thing over and over. So it's, it's good to have a little bit of a change. I think. Yeah, yeah, but it's not the same thing over and over. Uh, it, it wasn't the same thing. No, not exact same thing, but... I think if, I think if you're going to think like that, you, you're in trouble when we get to the prep, because yeah. that will be the same thing over and over. That mm. will absolutely be the same thing over and over. Because when we're into prep, we will be eating healthy, um, and we will be nailing it right down to the right down to the finer calories, right down to the calories. So, you, you, you know, um, I, I thought with this, I thought this off season was pretty pretty mixed, pretty pretty variety. We had lots of variety. Yeah. You know, you, we had a choice of what you wanted at the weekends. Yeah, with the uh, chicken soup, we had it a bit too much. And then that got a bit too repetitive. Yeah. It got a bit repetitive at the end. I, I completely disagree. Thomas is different to me. I completely disagree with him on that one. Um, I, I like the chicken soup. I preferred it doing it that way because it was more moist. I don't like dry chicken. I would prefer to eat it when it's nice and moist. We spent so much time eating chicken, cauliflower, cabbage, you know, and broccoli. We spent so much time doing that whilst we were dieting down. I was trying to steer away from that, so we sort of could come back to that when we need to drop the calories. You yeah. know, I was trying to trying to put some variety in there and making things change. You know, um, but you know, Thomas has found it different. Something. Yeah, I, I found it different before as well with the chicken and broccoli and cabbage and stuff. It just went after like a few months, not a few months, but. Yeah. Say after about six months, it went too much. It's just the exact same thing then every day. Yeah, I think it did go boring then. I think you've got to realise that when you're in a diet situation yeah. and yeah. you are cutting, you've got to go through this. Yeah. And this is the sort of thing. This is the sort of thing. Unfortunately, we're going to have to do. Yeah, we will. Uh, yeah, you, you know. But but yeah, let's let's right. So let's get back on it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get on the scales today and I'm going to take my top off. We're going to see where we are, where we are at the starting point of the prep. Um, uh, I, I'm very nervous, guys. Believe me, I'm very nervous. I'm not looking forward to this one little bit. Um, I'm not at all. I did discuss this with Thomas last week. Thomas decided he didn't want to do it, no, which yet. I don't, don't blame him because I don't want to do it, you know. But I do think that this is necessary so you guys can see the exact progress from start right down to the end of the prep uh, where we want to be. I want to get somewhere close to 15, 10% body fat, 10% temporarily, let's let's add that. 15% uh, I'll be happy with, but I want to get somewhere close to 10%, just temporarily, just to see exactly what, what muscle mass I have got, where I want to be from there, so, um, yeah, I think uh, this is where we are at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so before we get on the scales, before we get onto this, I'm trying to delay it as long as possible, to be honest with you. I don't want to, <laughs> I'm not ready to take my shirt off yet. But but anyway, guys, um, uh, what we're going to be doing as from next week, we'll put it up on the very first video. Uh, next week's weigh-in, we're starting the prep on Tuesday, guys. Tuesday the 1st of March is the first day of prep. So when we get on the scales next week, we might have lost a bit of weight. Uh, I should hope that we have, Yeah. Uh, to be honest with you. Um, but what we're gonna do is, on the first weigh-in video, we shall put up exactly what we're eating for the week. We'll put up the macronutrients, we'll put up exactly the, the, the calories, the protein, the fats, and the carbs, the exact amount and we'll put it up on the screen for you guys so you can follow as well and exactly what food we're eating and then over the course of uh, over the course of the coming weeks we shall put up the exact exercises we're doing 
per session and the, the rep range and uh, the weights that we're lifting uh, and we'll put this all up so we're completely transparent for you guys to see and then I'll keep giving you a, a, a physique um, um, I'll keep putting that up I'll keep put, taking my top off so you can see the progress uh, for, uh, and a physique update uh, we'll do that each and probably every week maybe every other week I'm not sure we'll just keep going um, and see where it takes us uh, and hopefully we can inspire you guys um, we'll do photos on Tomas yeah photos on me and then yeah like, um, I after will. a month or two in yeah we'll pump up yeah once Thomas has got a bit of more confidence and, and he's taking a bit more body fat off and he starts getting the confidence then uh, you know he might be ready to show you guys as well but we will be taking photos of Thomas from the start all the way through the prep yeah we'll be taking photos of me as well from the start also but you'll see on the video so there's no hiding you know it's there in front of the camera for you guys to see when I get on the scales yeah so I think here we go guys so without further ado we'll get on the scales and I will be taking my top off right here we go guys it's my turn to get on the scales as promised I did say that the final week of bulk or off season whatever you want to call it I was going to take the top off to show where we're starting the prep this is the final week of off season I'm going to stick to my word this is where we are at the end of the off season um, when we've been putting all this weight on now you'll know where we start going into prep you'll know where I am at the beginning and hopefully in the weeks to come you'll see what journey I'm actually on and you'll see what progress will be made uh, so it doesn't matter what it says on the scales each week you'll see through my own body of what progress will be made during the prep so here we go guys Let's go. So let's uh, connect to the scales. Nineteen thirteen point three. Right, so there we go, guys. Nineteen stone, thirteen point three. That's a BMI of thirty-five point nine. The fat is thirty-five point two. Water forty-seven point four. Muscle thirty-four point nine, and bone eight point one. Right, so that's the end of the off season. Very, very heavy. That's just short of twenty stone. I'm going to now reset. I'm going to now reset the scales. I've now reset my, re my new goal. The first, my first goal will be 15 stone. Yeah, so my first goal of the prep will be 15 stone. So I've now got to lose just about 5 stone. Um, now, we're not fast. We're not going into it and dropping loads of weight as quick as possible like we did last time. This time we'll do it slow and steady, we'll do it properly so we're just losing body fat, we're not losing muscle weight. We've just spent the last 12 weeks going to the gym, eating the calories, eating the food to bulk up uh, and we want to hold on to as much muscle weight as possible. Uh, so anyway, what we'll do now is we'll sit down on the table, Thomas will do his way in first, then we'll sit down on the table and then we'll just discuss this into more detail. So thank you very much guys, we'll see you on the table. Right, my turn now, let's see what I am this week. Seventeen eleven. Seventeen eleven, fat thirty two point five, water forty nine point three, bone nine point three, muscle thirty eight point two, a BMI thirty three point one. Yeah, it's another game, it's about two, three Round two and three pounds, so yeah, we'll sit down on the table now, have a chat, thank you. I'm very sorry about that guys, I hope you wasn't eating during that, it wasn't pretty, it didn't feel pretty, I felt pretty damn embarrassed to be honest with you. It's not the kind of thing I like to do, 
But they ho, I've gone and done it. Yeah. So we know where we are at the end of the off season. The weight has gone up amazingly. Uh, well, not amazingly. It, it's gone up terribly. I didn't think it had gone up that much. You know, I have been eating, uh, and I have been trying to keep to the four thousand or three thousand nine hundred calories as much as I possibly could. Um, but yeah, I mean, nineteen stone, thirteen point three. That's unbelievable. To be honest with you, that's just short of twenty stone. I didn't want to get to that. My target weight at the beginning of this was 18 stone 10. I've gone way over that. I've gone a stone over that more. Um, yeah. Um, but hey ho, we are where we are. It is what it is. So uh, I'll, I'll just go through mine and then we'll talk. I'll just go through the figures and then we'll talk about it in a bit more depth. So as I say, I come in at 19 stone 13.3, that's a gain of 6.9 pounds. I think that's possibly got to be the biggest gain during this prep. And to be quite honest with you, as it's a final week, you know, fair enough, you know. Anyway, my fat has gone up from 34.4 to 35.2. I want to be down to, a, I need to lose at least 20% body fat during this prep. Uh, now that's a lot to lose. It really is a lot to lose, but I, I'm going for it. I've got something to, I've got something to fight for, something to go for. Um, I've got a very clear vision of where I want to be. So let's see where we are, um, and let's see where we get to. My water has gone from 47.9 to 47.4. The bone's gone up a tad again, so it's gone, it's gone from eight to 8.1. Um, and my muscles gone down again. I can't believe this. So it's gone down from 35.1 to 34.9 and my BMI has gone up, not surprisingly, from 35 to 35.9. Now just keep a close eye on this guys, next, as from next week and, and the coming weeks during this prep, my muscle is at 34.9. It's gone down and it's gone down considerably each and every week while we've been putting this weight on. Now. The whole reason for putting this weight on during the off-season is to gain muscle mass and now scales are telling us we've lost muscle mass. Yeah, which I don't think it's I don't accurate. think it is accurate because you watch now guys, as from next week and through the coming weeks, our muscle mass will be going up even though our body, we're losing weight. I, yeah. I can guarantee you that's what's going to happen, so I'm not sure how accurate it is, but just we'll just keep our eye on this and we'll see where we are. So. Thomas will come in with his weight and we'll have a talk a little bit of a, a talk about um, what, you know, where, what we want to achieve with this. Yeah, this week we're coming at um, <coughs> 17 stone 11.1, which is a gain of 2.4 pounds. Ideal mate, that's good. Yeah. Good week. My fat has gone up just a bit from 22.2 to 22. Uh, from 32.2 to 32.5. My water's gone up a bit, uh, down a bit from 49.5 to 49.3. My bone has either gone up, or just double check on the app now, which I'm sure, yeah, it's gone up from 9.2 to 9.3. My muscle's gone down as well from 38.3 to 38.2. And my BMI's gone up from 32.8 to 33.1. Yeah, so uh, uh, that's an ideal week Thomas, 2.5 yeah. pounds is absolutely spot on, you can't grumble at that, no. you know, um, why start, maybe it's the age difference, and I suppose I have been eating a bit more than you have um, as well, I haven't, Thomas has been leaving stuff on his plate, I haven't, yeah. so let, let me just get rid of that, um, yeah, it's, it's a bit warm in here, we've got the heating on, it's a bit warm in here, and, uh, I found my hat, I thought I'd put it on and now I don't want it on because it's uh, a bit warm but uh, but yeah so um, I think um, like I say as from next week, first week uh, I, I, I'm really looking forward to this because this, is, this isn't just something we've plucked out the air, this is something that we've been planning from day one of the, the birth of life changing journey we want to lose weight, we want to get down to a manageable weight, something that we can um, something that we can really be happy with, something that we can get around and be normal human be. beings. Yeah. Yeah, in, instead of 
struggling to get around and in some cases being called names like you yeah. were it's not happening now guys let's no. just say that because we're in more of an adult environment but yeah you know when thomas was in school he did suffer a bit um yeah. on that sort of thing but you know like i say thomas is in an adult environment now it, it, you know so it doesn't really happen no. any, anymore you know he's you know he's around adults he's you know and he's around people that respect him you know and he gives that respect back um, and so we we don't really encounter that sort of thing, no, not anymore. You, you know, and and of course the hard work and the effort and and the courage is shown on here to all you guys as well. He's really opened himself up, you know, and me as well. We've really put ourselves out there, you know, and we've really we've gained so much out of this. It's been such an experience, you know. But like I say. Our beginning goal right from the start was actually to lose weight yeah. uh, and get into good shape. Now, um, when we did lose weight, we lost 102 pounds. 102, 102 pounds, pounds yeah. guys. That was a, a hell of a lot of weight to lose. But it was too much too soon. Yeah, it was. And it was like we sort of shrunk but didn't lose much fat, if no. you know what I mean. Um, we lost a ton of fat, but what I'm saying is it's like we was like skinny not skinny but it was like we were smaller versions of what we are now yeah um i'm not saying we were extremely fat we did lose a lot of fat it was like our body mass shrunk but not our actual fat yeah 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 so we sort of put our heads back to the drawing board and said right what can we do to sort this out so like i told you at the beginning of this video we were sort of halfway here and halfway there. We never had no definitive way of where we no. were going to go. So we put all our experience into it and we said, right, we're going to stop now. We're going to go right. We're going to go 12 weeks into bulking. We're going to get as much muscle mass on as possible. Yes, there's going to be fat gains with that as well. We know that because we're eating so many calories, excuse me, into a surplus. So we know that we're going to gain fat weight as well as muscle weight. Now we're going into prep. Now the idea now is to get rid of as much body fat as possible and keep hold of as much lean muscle mass as possible. So when we get to the end of this prep, we haven't got a time of what we're on. We haven't got no set date. No. We have got a wedding coming up in July. In July, yeah. Um, so we've got we've got so many months now till July before the wedding. So we want to look good. Yeah. But that's not where it ends. No, it doesn't you end. Know, it ends when we've got our body as perfect as we want it to be. Like I told you guys, I want to get down to 10% body fat at some point, temporarily. And then if I hover somewhere around 12, 13, 14, even 15% body fat, I'll be extremely happy. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's where we are, guys. We want you guys to follow us. We want you guys to see exactly what we're doing and if you feel that we're doing wrong in any way during this prep send us a message tell us what your thoughts are send us an email um, you know we'll put our email address up there now so if you want to email us that's no problem if you don't want to be sore on the you know uh, on, on putting your messages in that's fine um, so yeah, we're really, really looking forward to it, haven't we, mate? Yeah, we are. You, yeah. you know, it's, it's been a good 12 weeks, to be honest with you. Um, and we've stuck to it. You know, there's been no swaying. There's no, we're not doing this, we're not doing that. We we said we were doing it. We started doing it. And we said we're finishing March the 1st. And that's exactly what we've done. Um, so let's see where we are. Starting the prep. Let's see where, where it takes us. I really, really am looking forward to this. I have an absolute clear vision of where I want to be, which really makes a difference. If you've got a clear vision and you've got a, an, an end goal of where you want to be, then it makes the whole world a difference. It because does. if yeah, it, it does, doesn't it? Because if you haven't got a plan and you haven't got a destination, you're just going to float around and not know where you're going. You're not going to know. You know, if you get on an aeroplane and you're flying to a country or you're going on holiday, you know exactly where you're going. The plane goes up, it goes down, it lands and you're there. And this is exactly the same in a life journey. If you've got an exact plan of your final destination, you'll get there. 
But if you, if you don't know where you want to be, you don't know where you're going to go, you're not likely to get there, you're likely to fail because you just don't know where you're going. We know where we're going, we've got an absolute clear vision of where, where we want to be and let's uh, let's go for it. Yeah, we have, yeah. To, we have to go for it, yeah. Yeah, well we will, yeah. you, know, I, you know, quite, quite, well, well I'm absolutely confident in this. So yes guys, so there we go. I'm very, very sorry about the uh, shirt off and everything, but I felt it needed to be done. There will be more to come, but <laughs> as we go into the prep, it will get better and better, believe me. Um, I just hope I didn't put you off your dinners, guys. So, uh, yeah, so thank you very much again there, guys, for joining us. Uh, if you could, you could drop us a like if you're feeling generous. If you could subscribe to the channel, that would be absolutely amazing, and share our shit, that would be fantastic if you could. Um, and we'll see you on the next video, which will be the first weigh-in weigh of the prep. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.